Hi Gems, it's your girl Amber here and welcome back to my channel. You guys, I wanna immediately start this video by thanking each and every one of you who has viewed my Fenty Beauty complexion video that I did a couple weeks back when it first released. You guys, we're at like 25,000 views. Whoa, 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 like huge. And I loved all the engagement. I loved all the comments, the good, the bad, the ugly, whatever. That is what the comment section is for. Let's talk it out. Family meeting, do you hear me when I say? So I'm super excited to come back on the channel with another Fenty Beauty product. As you all know, Rihanna and um, her peoples just released a collection for the holiday time, came with lipsticks, lip gloss, and um, a palette in which we're discussing today. One thing I can immediately off the jump, I mean, I'm not a fan of all the fingerprints, but it is what it is, but it's a beautiful, like, rainbow iridescent beautiful packaging i absolutely love it um it's still giving you that like beehive octagon feel jewel tones you feel me um one thing i want to mention honey my husband was very much interested in looking at this palette because he thought it was super pretty um but you know him and his man hands he's not the most you know nimble fingered person <laughs> he opens up the He feels terrible, but I was like, it's so hard to say goodbye. <sighs> but nonetheless, we got over it. He didn't drop the palette part, so we're still married. <laughs> no, I kid. But um, hey, it's definitely easier to show you guys. It comes with a nice mirror. Just don't let your man touch it. And uh, definitely something that can accompany your favorite matte shadows i did use um two palettes to accompany this look today i'm using my well used nubian nubian two palette by juvia's place and then i used um this orange shade and my sugar pill pro palette that i made um some of the product that they sent to me but i really love the finish of this look if you guys are interested in how this fancy palette and the lippy that i got We'll talk about that more. Then keep watching. All right, we're gonna jump right into it. I already have my brows on and I've already primed my eyelids with my concealer and just set it with my Sasha Buttercup setting spray. Um, as I mentioned in the intro, we all know that this Fenty Beauty palette is all glitter so it's definitely something that will be a companion to say like your favorite matte shades if you already have like your set go-to matte palette that you go to or maybe you've already built out single shadows that you really love that go with just about any look so for me today i'm going to be playing in maybe what's in front of me right now is two different palettes i'm going to use my very loved juvia's place nubian 2 palette it just has some really beautiful transition shades in here between um madagascar and morocco and then i really love kenya at the bottom which is a nice rich brown um and then i may want to blow out that morocco with my um sugar pill orange here so i just have a few things in front of me but you guys don't feel like you need to buy these shadows that i'm using just things that are comparable um so let's just jump right into it i'm gonna go with my favorite blending brush which is my morphe m441 and my first shade that i'm gonna use is going to be from the juvia's place palette uh, madagascar and it's more of like a skin tone why can't I seem to get that together? <laughs> it's more of a skin tone um, shadow. But what I love about it is when I set my, or rather when I clean my brow bone, I like to set the concealer. And I feel like Madagascar is the perfect light transition shade that um, works really well for blowing out colors. Cause it's, it's light enough, but like effective <laughs> how are you guys liking this micro lens i haven't used it had it forever but i figured like let's get close and personal next i'm going to go in with my morphe e23 which is a larger fluffier blending brush and i'm gonna go right into morocco which is this beautiful orange very rich orange i can't even say like orange brown like See, very pigmented. I like to deposit this 
in my crease and kind of blow up because we've kind of already set down that lighter shade. So it's really making the shadow blend out so beautifully. And plus, Juvia's Place palettes are so pigmented that you can kind of continue to build and build and build. And I never do my eyes first. I always put my foundation on first. I just prefer it. But when I know I'm dealing with like glitter or like super shimmery shades, I'll do my eyes first. It calls for less cleanup. Cause the last thing you need is glitter to fall into like some wet concealer or foundation. I had to put my head scarf on. I felt like my braids were in my face. So next jumping into the Nubian 2 palette, I'm gonna go into the shade Kenya right here. Yeah, yeah, this one. Cause I wanna deepen my V a bit, um, but I don't want to like make it messy. So I'm gonna go in with my Sigma pencil brush in E30 just to kind of carve out my crease a little bit. Just like that. And like deposit it just above my crease to create some depth. And then I'll go in and blend it out. I don't even know where I got this one, but it's like a smaller tapered blender and just blend that out. And you know, having a hooded lid, sometimes you have to just look straight ahead and see if you don't lose that depth. And I just kind of go back and forth with this until I get the desired color payoff. So I'm gonna go in with this sugar pill, this orange here. I think it's called flaming something, but I'm gonna use that same Morphe 441. And I'm gonna buff out the outer perimeter. Um, not necessarily a step that you have to do. I just want something a little bit more vibrant with the orange. All right, so you know what time it is. Do you know what time it is to cut that crease? Except I'm not gonna do a half cut crease. I'm gonna do the entire lid. Um, in order to accomplish that cut crease, I like to use my MAC 242. And I'm gonna go in with my NARS Mind Day because I need something for this glitter to stick to, but I also need to carve out a path, direction. And I'm just gonna go in a circle shape, but just below that Kenya color, which is like that chocolate. I'm gonna have to hold my skin taut a little bit underneath that chocolate brown. I'm gonna bring it all the way out and then any excess. I try to go in with a light coat because I don't wanna change the formula of the glitter. Okay. So create like that half moon. Get it nice and clean. Okay. I'm gonna go in with the shade. What is this shade? Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's called Jupiter Sand, I believe. Yeah, I'm feeling good about that. Jupiter Sand, which is this really pretty like teal sea foam blue. Really beautiful color. So I'm gonna go in with the same 242 brush See how that application goes. And if I need to add water, my finger, we're gonna figure this out together. And I'm just gonna apply it. Well, she's beautiful. She's obviously falling out. Why, 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 why? So I'm noticing that the shade is not really giving me the total payoff. So I'm gonna spray my brush and see what happens there. Uh, I'm just gonna use my Glam Glow Glow Setter and spray the side of the brush and then go back in. Oh yeah. Oh my God, this is so pretty. It's really beautiful. I'm also gonna try my finger as well and just press it on. Yeah, the finger's gonna give you the best application 
think I don't have my long nails on. That could be a problem. I'm gonna go back in with Kenya and that chocolate brown on my pencil brush just to deepen the crease a bit. Right here, see, oh yeah. Kind of carve that out and, and, and neaten it up a bit. Yeah, I really like that. You know, us, hood, our, us hooded lid girls gotta stick together. You know what I'm saying? Gotta clean that up. Also decided to put on Midnight Bolt, which is this beautiful like purpley blue right on top. I didn't want to look too 1982-ish with that other shade. And yeah, I'm definitely finding that fingers all key. It's beautiful though. And we're gonna clean up all this fallout, so don't you worry. Boo, 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 boo. All right, we can move on to Deface. Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Primer, Instant Retouch Primer. And I've actually been using this with a lot of other foundations and really have been loving it. Um, it does go on like a lotion, but I do find that it dries down to a matte. Um, for foundation, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 430. It does say every time you use it, you should shake it up. So that is what I'm doing. I do realize that this dries super fast. So I'm just gonna do sections right now. And I do have my wet beauty blender. Oh, correction, Real Technique sponge. And I'm just gonna do one side at a time. And I love this foundation. I've actually been using it quite a bit and with such a dramatic eye as this and all this glitter i needed to be lifted lifted and laid and i don't know if you guys were aware that um tart is celebrating 17 years in business and every day they had like a coupon code for some of their most infamous products you guys and um the shape tape was buy one get one free I already had a backup to my backup, but now I got two more backups to that because I just truly haven't found a concealer that I have loved as much as I have loved that shape tape and I'm in the shade deep. I have to say that I have been head over heels in love with the match stick by Fenty in the shade Espresso. I apply this in my cheekbones and my forehead. I have the biggest forehead ever in life, so I am always contouring her. And then my chin just to slim out my jawline and then my nose to contour. I'm gonna use my NYX 22 brush. You know I love it. It's great for blending out this product and to just getting into the cuts of this cheekbone and carving her out and just blend it out. Use my Sasha Buttercup mixture with my Laura Mercier powder and place her right under the eye and everywhere that you applied concealer. So we're gonna go through this as we always do. All right, and because my contour is strong and I wanna clean it up a little bit, I'm gonna use my Maybelline loose finishing powder in the shade 40. I'm just gonna apply it and let it sit for a little bit. And then it's gonna allow that contour to really pop and also clean it up. And I'm gonna go in with Morocco and my pencil brush. This is the Sigma E30. And just apply on my lower lash line. So I'm gonna mimic what I did up top minus the glitter. I'm gonna take some of Kenya I'm sorry, in the outer perimeter of my lower lash line, I'm just gonna apply it closer to the lash line to create a little bit of a deeper smoke. For my lower lash mascara, um, all too familiar, my MAC Extended uh, Play Giga Black Lash. All 
All right, then I'm gonna brush a lot of this powder away. I'm gonna dip a little into my Maybelline 40 loose finishing powder and just press into the skin and brush any excess powders away. For blush, I'm gonna go on my Black Radiance and Toasted Almond. Just a little color onto the cheek. I already have enough drama on the eye. But for me, blush is like my zhuzh. It's my zhuzh, it's my thing. But this e.l.f. Heart def, def, Defense, what? Heart Defenser, sure. Um, I got this in the mail from our friendly folks over at e.l.f. It's beautiful rose gold packaging. It's giving you um, coffee and cream feels. But I have to say, out of all the e.l.f. highlighters, this is by far one of my favorite. It just blends beautifully into the skin. I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics 101. You know that I love this. And I think I'm gonna go in with coffee for sure because cream is a little too light. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it into the skin. Like, look at that. I don't know if I have any other e.l.f. highlighters that do that. And it's just like, look how beautiful that is. It's almost like I just animated it onto my skin. With my Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Powder. Babe, babe, babe. Just a little bit. Going with my Chestnut Liner, duh. And lining these lips. And then for lip, I'm using my Tarte Lip Paint in the shade Birthday Suit. It's a little sample, but I really, really like it. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Space Suit. So pretty, right over top. Oh. oh my god, I can't even handle it. So pretty. So there you have it, gems. Um, let's talk about this palette. You know, after the devastation of my husband breaking it, um, it's still a really beautiful palette. Um, glitters are glitters are glitters, right? So you're going to have your fallout, but I feel like the shades are definitely... Um, they're a good companion to those matte palettes that I spoke about earlier. They're beautiful. I mean, you get a plethora of options here. <laughs> Child, this is funny without... Anyway, it's broken. Get over it. Deal. Got it. Um, I really love all the different options that you can do with this. Definitely can use them for inner corner highlighting. You can use them all over the body if you want to. They're just beautiful finishes. I love that you can blend two together as I did with um what this shade is called i used jupiter sand and i mixed it with midnight bolt and i found i found that they were really really pretty together um i am obsessed with this lip gloss i want to get the rest of them this is the one that spoke most to me because i knew that if i did something super dramatic on the lid that i would want something a little bit nude um but i loved like ugh, i have to apply more I love the iridescent finish. I'm also going to swatch on my hand for you guys. Like, it's just beautiful. So I highly suggest you guys getting your hands on it. Um, I'm so really excited about the foundation. I love using it. I love applying it into my everyday routine, mixing it with other foundations. Got a little something. something. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, make sure, ooh, I made a mess. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure that you comment below. Um, if you are into, you know, collecting palettes, a makeup enthusiast such as myself, look, go get the palette. I'm never going to tell you because I want y'all on that same boat with me, you know, buying things so that we just, you know, are in the know. But if you feel like you have a collection of glitter and shiny satin finish, high pigmented uh, colors in your collection, then maybe I say pass. But if you are into collecting the new new and experiencing a different formulation, I didn't find that using it with the MAC 242 was the best application. I feel like it was best for the first layer, but my finger was the absolute best color payoff. Then definitely go for it. I'm still... 
I'm loving this look. I mean, it's definitely one of the more glamorous side of makeup tutorials that I've done in a recent while. But I mean, this is the holiday collection, so you need to either go big or go home. Okay. So until our next video, gems, bye.